Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I took a little break after my spring and Easter home tour, but kind of just needed a little time to reset, you know, enjoy the holiday, take all that stuff down before I could start kind of transitioning into my summer bee theme decor that will be going on in my living room and dining room. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a haul of some recent bee items that I picked up. So if you wanna see what I got, then keep on watching. If you are new, I would love for you to take a minute, hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Give this video a thumbs up if you also enjoy decorating with bee themed decor for the spring and summertime. And let's get right on into the video. So the first things I picked up were some different bee lights. Uh, this first strand is called Honey Bee String Lights. They are a larger bee. They're almost like a clear see-through plastic tinted yellow and black and then there's some plastic wings on them and these are indoor outdoor lights from home goods they were $9.99 and these are actual like plug-in ones that go into the wall which is great and then these lights I picked up at Walmart. They were $3.98 and they're just like the wire string lights kind. I believe I have one from last year. So when I saw they had more, I picked up another one. And then this uh, kind of branch or a garland, I think more like of a branch because I don't think it would fit across my fireplace. But this has some like bee skeps on it and some greenery and some cute little daisies. So when I saw this at a local shop, I decided to pick it up because I knew I would find a good home for it somewhere and it would fit in well with my decor. Next, I got a lot of different bee towels. Um, this first one here, I got in a three pack with one other one exactly like it and a yellow one. My mom actually took the other bee one and I have the yellow one somewhere, but I just really like the cute pattern on this and it's a nice like thicker towel. They were from Home Goods. The Sweet As Honey Towel is from a kind of more local department store in Pennsylvania called Boscov's. Um, the turquoise I thought would be perfect for my kitchen, so I picked that one up. This kitchen bee towel is from the brand Mainstays, which is from Walmart. I got that as an Easter gift from a friend. And then this one on the end here I also got um, from a good friend of mine. It's uh, bees and some greenery. thought that one was really cute. And both of these towels are like a thinner, more linen type material. Um, probably we'll just use those more for decor, but we'll see where they end up. And then lastly, I got this pot holder. thought this was adorable. Got this from kind of like a local shop as well. Um, I just thought the bees and the polka dots on that were really cute and always on the hunt for some cute bee towels and this year did not disappoint. Next, kind of a little collection of ceramic things. On the end here, this is, I guess, a sugar bowl, I'm assuming. Um, I didn't even take it out of the plastic yet, but love the detailing of the honeycomb on that. It was $9.99 at Home Goods, and there's a little spoon that sticks out the edge there. It's just wrapped up in foam. I don't know, something about it, I thought that was really cute. This little bee skep, that kind of looks like cement. This was $5.98 at Walmart, but it rang up 90% off with the Easter decor. So I got that for 60 cents. This crock with the bee on it, um, I just thought it was really simple and cute. This was from TJ Maxx. It was only $6.99 and it's from a brand called Heartland Hive. And I don't know if I'll use this in my kitchen or maybe just put some flowers in it, but I really like that. And then this little kind of resin plastic type B, this was uh, $5.99 at um, Hobby Lobby and then you got 40% off. Actually picked up two of those. I thought they were really cute and would be fun to add in on tiered trays. Next, moving on to some wooden items. 
I fell in love with these bees. These I got at a local antique mall. I just, I love them, how they're kind of made like barn wood with the planks. Uh, the lady that made them, she even initialed them on the back. And I was only going to get one, but then I thought it would be really cute to have the big one and the little one together, like a mom and a baby. And they have those nice metal hooks on the back there, so I'll be able to hang those up. And very detailed, distressed, rustic, all the things that I love and look for. And I really don't have a lot of wall items, so I thought these would be a good thing to have for my collection. Also in wooden decor, another wooden bee. This one's a bit of a different style. It has some long white wings, uh, very distressed and rustic as well, but like a thinner wood and has like a wire to hang it. I got this from a local shop. I went there for Easter open house and found a little section with bee decor. Um, this bee skep sign that has bees and I guess it's supposed to be like a little birdhouse in a way because there's like a nail there on the ledge and again probably made by the same person because same kind of wood same paint job thought both of those were really cute and absolutely love them next I got just a couple random things this uh, sign was from Hobby Lobby I guess because of the kind of more turquoise sky, I thought this would look cute in my kitchen. This was $7.99 with the 40% off. Really nice solid chunk of wood too. Cute sign. And then I got this little be yourself sign also from Hobby Lobby. I believe this one was $5.99 with 40% off. And I have a smaller one too that kind of looks like the match and it says be something else. I just can't remember what. <laughs> and then these little wooden bee skeps, they have a little string on the top that you can hang them somewhere. Got those at the antique mall as well. They were like two bucks a piece. I thought I'd find somewhere cute to hang them this sign which the b part is metal and then it has like a wooden frame this was 5.98 at walmart again came up 90 percent off so it was only 60 cents definite steal so if you get to walmart definitely look for some of the b stuff on clearance and then this sign um this i just fell in love with those little wooden bee details around the edges there and this is a primitives by kathy sign and the reason it doesn't say anything is because where it's black it was red and it said like be something and i'm just really tired of the same sayings and i didn't want red in my decor so i painted it black and i'm going to put my own wording on there so if you guys have any creative things that you've seen out that i don't have on any of my signs let me know next some metal items um this one i wasn't even sure if it was a bee but i mean it looks like one kind of but then it also kind of looks like a dragonfly but either way i i figured it wouldn't really matter the kind of stripes on the body i thought it was neat because it kind of has that cement look and then there's only like one hook on the one wing so when you hang it it'll kind of look like it's flying i got that at a local shop and i found this metal bee actually at dollar tree for 125 and it was all kind of metallic colors so i just got some chalk paint and i gave it a new paint job and i love how this turned out for a dollar and a quarter i'll just be able to like stick it inside a pot probably keep it indoors so the rain doesn't ruin it but definitely something fun to do if you're looking for some inexpensive bee decor Next, some random different things. Um, this bee magnet that says, be the best you can be. That was from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I thought that would be cute to add to my fridge. Also from the spring shop, so 40% off. Then I was in the ribbon section seeing what kind of ribbon they, you know, had maybe with bees this year. And I thought this one was cute, very neutral, like a linen material. That was half price. Not sure where I'll use it yet, but I thought it would be good to have on hand. 
And then a good friend of mine also picked up these bees for me from some kind of local store. Uh, she can put them in anything, really. They have a nice little wire pick on them. Good to put in wreaths or stick in with your flowers. Love them. And then this wooden bee garland. This was from the spring shop as well at Hobby Lobby. It says be happy with the yellow and black beads. And then this little guy, he's a mouse. And you guys know how love, I love my needle felted mice. But he is also a little bee. And he was $10.99 at a local shop. But his wings on the back were broken off. They were like a very thin, fragile material. So they gave him to me for half price, which I was more than happy to buy him at that price. I figured I could either put my own wings on him or just leave him as is. But I thought he was really cute cute and definitely unique then as far as like stuffed more primitive things haven't found a whole lot this year but I do have a lot from last year um, this bee skep uh, very squishy I love that little wooden bee that's on him got him from a local shop as well thought that was really cute to add to my other ones and then this crocheted bee not really sure guys why I wanted this so much it doesn't really fit in with like my kind of primitive rustic stuff but I just thought he was adorable and just so soft and cozy and I really had to applaud the woman that made this because just the detailing and stuff and the hard work she put into it so I almost left them there I debated and I debated but then I decided last minute to just bring them home with me definitely support your local crafters and give them business at local shops and then lastly is a pillow that is from Hobby Lobby it's actually an outdoor pillow you guys may have seen this in stores it has a zipper um, to, so you could take it on and off to clean it and I thought it was kind of boring <laughs> on the ends just very plain so my mom actually sewed some tassels that she had extra laying around on the corners and I think it really gave it you know just a little bit more interest and what I loved about um, this particular pillow was that the bees were embroidered and if you look at them really close like the stitching and all is really nice so this was a little pricey but I decided to pick it up anyway I've been on the hunt for two pillows with bees on them for my couch I might just get some covers off of Amazon but if you guys see any like that are inexpensive in stores let me know and that is it guys thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed more bee decor probably along the way along with some decorating videos i want to do a refresh on my front porch for you know spring summertime take a little bit of the bunnies down and kind of transition there so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out and i'll see you guys in the next one bye